response to Stony Run. He is giving me more guidance on how to do the fusion, and he suggests to aim the heat about ninety degree downward, and also suggests me to use less core plast, so as create a better joint. And I will try some of his suggestions in the future. Today, I'm going to try three experiments. In this experiment, I'm going to add extra core plast, which Basically, it's polypropylene in the middle between the joint. Then I heat up the whole area, and then I push the core plus together. I hope with the extra polypropylene, the bonding may be better. I place a large piece of core plus in the middle, and that may result in having too much polypropylene for the fusion. Let's see what the outcome would be. I shoot a lot of heat into the joint, and then I use my left hand to push the core plus together and compress them. Some of the core plus try to escape from the top. Then I pick up another piece of wood, push it down. I have to wait for the core plus to cool down before I remove the wood piece. I use my finger to feel how hot it is. To determine when I could pull the wood out, the joint at the top is okay, but it's very uneven at the bottom. It looks a kind of ugly too, but then it's very strong. There are two solid pieces of plastic at both ends of the joint, and the joint looks solid, but ugly. I might have used too much polypropylene experiment. Let's take a look at my second experiment, which has a very good result. This is a simple butt joint. I simply heat up the edges of two core plus, and it's about a quarter inch at the edge, and then I push them together and allow it to cool down, and the result turned out to be pretty good. I use the two pieces of wood, and allow about a quarter inch of the core plus being exposed to the heat during fusion. Once both edges are fully melted, then I just push two core plus together. Then I slide one side of the plywood over the joint, and also press down so I can get a very level joint. I have to wait for the core plus to cool down before I move the joint; otherwise, it may not be flat. The joint at the top side looks good, but the joint line at the bottom side is not that even. But I can fix it. The edge is not fully bonded to the core plus. To fix it, I need just to apply a little bit heat to the surface and apply pressure to the jointed area, and that will fix it. The joint seems to be smooth on both sides, and seems to be strong too. This joint does not have a lot of excess polypropylene, therefore it's a little bit more flexible, and I can actually bend it. The joint seems to be very strong, and I plan to do a test to see how much pulling force it can handle. I try to apply some of the welding technique into fusing core plus. I applied melted polypropylene directly onto the joint, but it wasn't successful. I was a bit disappointed, but the next day I received input from Jim. He told me to use the glue gun to fit the polypropylene onto the joint, and I will have to try it. I think this is a very good solution. Anyway, I tried all different kinds of joints, and I'm going to do some low tests on them and see how much force. And I will let you know what the outcome would be. Again, thanks for your support and subscribing to my channel. 
And if you haven't done so, please do, so you will be notified when I upload my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.